Good afternoon, Rick Collin here with TechOut. Today I wanted to uh, take you on a little tour of Windows 10, the April 2018 update. This is the update to version 18.03. Um, I installed this yesterday on April 30th, which is when Microsoft started pushing the update. Um, it's not being pushed to PCs automatically just quite yet, um, but you can go onto the website and download the Windows Update tool, or you can go to Windows Update on your computer, and it will go ahead and download the update if you want to install it now. Um, but right now, Microsoft is going to be collecting um, some diagnostic data from the people that are installing it, so they can make it a seamless installation for users who don't want to update right away. Um, so right out of the box, um, a couple new things in the update. As you can see here, we have a little different redesign in settings. Um, you'll notice that kind of all around throughout Windows that the um, the UI is, is the same, but there's a little bit of a, a visual difference. Um, like I said, version 18.03. Um, so right here you'll notice the focus assist. What this does is allows you um, allows you to um, set rules and times for hiding notifications and alarms. So if I'm duplicating the display or playing a game, um, it will limit my alerts and alarms to different you know customizations that you set depending on what your priorities are. Um, so you can set it to off, priority only, alarms on, and then you can set the automatic rules for a certain time or when you're doing different things, like I said. Um, also, if you go to display settings now, you can hop down here to graphic settings and you can choose um, different apps. So you can, if you have a laptop with a dedicated graphics card and a integrated graphics card, you can change which app will run on what card based on performance or power saving. So that's one of the nice features. A couple more things here. Um, you have up here the task view, which if you have your um, different windows open, I have three monitors, so you can't see um, the other two. But right here, there's no windows open. Um, if I bring something over here to the regular or to my uh, main monitor that you guys are seeing, right here, it'll put all your open windows in one view. And you can also create multiple desktops with multiple sets of windows. If any of you guys are familiar with Mac OS, um, something similar to that. So you can click on which one you want to open and that'll make it the active window. There's also a timeline feature which I haven't used enough. Um, this only works with Windows apps. I want to say you have to be signed into um, a Microsoft account for your PC's account. Um, but it'll give you a little timeline over here on the side and your common uh, Windows apps like Office settings, stuff like that that you've used in the past and on other devices that you can open up on this device. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that only works on Windows apps like system apps and Microsoft apps and you have to be signed into your PC under your Microsoft account, not an offline account, which I am. So that's basically um, it right now for 1803. There is one more thing that a lot of people are looking forward to and that is the sound settings. So you can customize your sound settings so I have Streamlabs open right now and stuff um, right here I don't the link things not showing up because it doesn't use audio but um, Streamlabs so I can set what mic and what output I want to use so if you're streaming you can have like Internet Explorer only output to your headphones so people on your stream won't be able to hear it um, you can customize your master and up here uh, master uh, input and output up here obviously but then you can also customize it based on the app which is a really nice feature um, and a lot of other stuff like troubleshooting that kind of stuff that's always been there but that's something that's back is the sound settings um, and volume mixer and all that kind of stuff that you can do um, and really customize your audio input and output for different devices but this has been Colin with Tech Out. this is Windows version 18.03 the April 2018 update this has been Colin with Tech Out. if you guys have any questions feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and as always don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe